obviously this is the second time X and Fiverr have yeah. been out mm -hmm. and you've had the opportunity to step up. Um, what would make this time different than the last time? Uh, I want to say I'm not really worried about last time. I'm really focused on right now and um, in the situation I'm in right now. And just coming to work every day, I'm not really worried about X and Byron. Honestly, I'm worried about myself and and um, in this team and, and, and me getting better um, in, in, in my job. And because um, I have a role to play on this team, a responsibility, um, just like every single uh, body else on this team. So I just want to come um, do come to, come to work every single day and do my job the best uh, the best way possible. So what have you worked on to improve yourself? Um, I'll say this off season, just really, um, I work with uh, Go Feet TA. Shout out to him, and just working on my press and um, just just everything, my speed, and, um, getting my uh, my body fat down, getting my weight down. Just uh, uh, just working on a lot of things, completing myself as a man, stuff like that, and just um, so I can come here and uh, uh, get my full percent, um, my my full hundred percent um, every single day. So, and going up against Tyreek and Jalen, who obviously you're familiar with Jalen, mm -hmm. but um, what does that teach you? Oh man, they're they're one of the two top receivers in this league. So if you can be successful against them, consistent uh, against them, that um, that shows how you're able to do against the rest of the league. And so um, I look to be really um, dominant against them, and um, so I can be dominant against the rest of the receivers in this league. And so um, it's a blessing just to have uh, those two players on my team, and uh, I can't wait to see what they do and uh, what this team does as well. So how much of a difference does it make for you playing and being coached by guys who are so good at? Uh, they're just, um, it, it brings a whole different type of experience um, to, to the room. Uh, we already have X and Byron, um, two people that's been playing this position for a very long time. And when you add, um, when you add Sam Madison, you add Pat Sertain, that just, that's four right there that just, they, they played this, this game at a really high level um, at my position. So I'm just able just to soak, soak everything in just to learn. I just watch and learn and listen and um, apply it to my game. And uh, whatever they tell me, um, I do so. Sam was a press guy mm -hmm. um, around here. Yeah. Is, is there anything that he's taught you about that technique that, that you incorporate to your game? Uh, I would say really just staying on the receiver, staying as close as possible to the receivers and not really letting them breathe, honestly, because um, I remember I used to play the receiver and I didn't like that. Um, a corner always in my face, a corner always pressing me, a corner always just putting their hands on me. Like, I don't like that. A lot of receivers don't like that, especially now. And so um, he's taught me that and just doing it every single play, not just one play and, um, and, and being like a day school on it, but showing up to the line every time uh, that man is called and doing it count like play after play after play after play and not just one play, like I said before. And so, yeah, he's taught me that and uh, he's going to teach me so many other things. And I'm just, man, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm waiting to see what we do, bro. No, no, how much more confident do you feel than maybe at this time? Uh, I feel way confident. Um, um, my body feels different. Everything feels different. The atmosphere feels different. Everything is just, everything's new. Um, and so I, I can't wait to see what this team does again. So, no, with that plan one on ones where you got a, a pass break up on Jalen, but he still caught the ball. Yeah. Do you count that as a win or does that make you frustrated when he gets the reception? Uh, I count it as a win. I count it as a win. Um, um, of course, if we was live, it would have been it would have been complete because he still caught it. But it was one on one, so I counted as a win. Um, so yeah. Did talk a little trash after that? No, he didn't say nothing. He know he know he know he lost. He know he lost. He know he lost. He got me the first play though. He got me the first play. So. Xavier Howard had some really nice things to say about that. What does it mean to you as somebody who's newer here to have that encouragement from a long time vet? Man, like I said, he's uh, he's played this position at a very high level. So just. Uh, Anything he says, I, I really just listen, and because um, he knows what he's talking about, because he's done it. Like he has proof, he has film, and so um, I, I should listen to him. Like that should be the person I'm going to and seeking advice from him and Byron and Pat and Sam. Like I should be going to them guys and, and asking them all the questions I have in this world, because um, it's a lot of people don't have not in my position to be able to learn from all those guys. So, um, like again, it's a blessing just to be in the room with them. Man. What's the best advice that Xavier's given you? Uh, again, just to come to work every single day, not really worried about um, yesterday or um, or last year or two years ago, but to worry about be present today, uh, not worry about tomorrow, but come to practice every day and just worry about that day. Because um, corner, yeah, like everybody's going to get beat. Um, you're going to have mistakes. You're not going to be perfect. Uh, but how can you bounce back the next play and the next play after that? And just being consistent play after play after play is not just doing it one time. Um, you got to be able to do it over and over again. So, did, did Maybe you have that mentality kind of opposite your first two years? Like right now, you seem like lighter, yeah. a little bit more, you know. But did you have that mentality last couple of years where you were a little bit harder on yourself? Yeah, you definitely know? a little bit more harder on myself. And um, yeah, I would say I, I was a little bit harder on myself. But now I just I let things go now, man, because you can't worry about the past nowadays. And you're not going to be able to stop everything. You're not going to be able to beat everybody every single time. And so um, everybody gets paid in this league. Everybody is a, is a pro athlete and everybody's playing in the NFL. So um, 
I just got to do my job the best way I know how. And um, if, if I do that, uh, count in and count out, I know how dominant I can be. And so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just putting the work in, and uh, I can't wait just to, just to show it off, man. Speaking, speaking of just learning how to let things go, not to bring up old stuff, but yeah. that game against the Bills, your, your rookie yeah, year. Yeah, Stephon, yeah. Against Stephon. Yeah. How, how long did that stick with you? Uh, I still think about honestly. I still think about it. Uh, I still think about it now. Um, it's just, and not like anything I'm thinking about the past or anything like that. But uh, that that's he's a high top receiver, and that's somebody I want to. Um, if I want to be the player I want to be, I got to be able to beat those guys every single time I go against them. And Buffalo Bills, they're, they're really uh, they're a high level team, and so um, he's the top receiver there. So just to be able to go against him, I can't. Uh, um, I will cherish the opportunity just to go against him again and and, and 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 do the opposite of what happened. And so, yeah, man. So it's not that it it still. I mean, it could bother you, but it's not like it still weighs on you. Yeah, because it's it's in the past. Like I said, there's nothing I can do. Like I'm a whole different person than I was to at that point. So I can't even look. I can't even judge myself at that time. Like I gotta bring who I am now. I gotta bring that forward and show that um, when we play them this year. And so I, I can't wait just to, man. I, I can't wait to play. Honestly, I can't wait. So you body fast now. What you do to get it down? I just I just been working. I just been working. Not saying I wasn't working before, but. Yeah, diet, uh, diet, stuff like that. It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of things that I've been able to do. And so, um, trying to learn the tricks. You trying to learn the tricks? I bet. Um, I actually turned uh, a year ago. I became vegan. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. And it's just been. Um, I just seen the improvements in my body. Um, I don't know for anybody else, but I know what it's done for me. And it's just, um, it's completely changed the way I feel, the way just everything. Um, I just feel more lean. I, I know I look more lean. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Um, came in um, this year 190. That's the lowest I've ever been, and so uh, ever in my career. Um, and so, yeah, I'm excited. I feel loose. I feel ready, and uh, I'm ready to go. Ready to hit it, man. What was the toughest thing to give up as a vegan? What'd you say? What was the toughest thing you gave up to be a vegan? Oh man, mm. probably my mom's cooking. Um, um, probably just just as everything what they have in the cafeteria downstairs is hard, man. It's it's really hard not to eat. Um, because I was eating, I wasn't a vegan for most of my life, and not becoming vegan. Um, it's it, it's it's just another level of discipline, I would say. Um, it's just um, so it, it's just really on my game, just really sticking on that, really sticking on a diet, and that just applies to everything else in, in this life, man. Just be consistent and being disciplined. It applies on the field, it applies off the field, and uh, yeah, that's just another just just another asset I have just to be able to be successful in this game. So.